On the road with Super Drive. Get closer to your radio. The Super Drive is invading your hood. Bring in radio straight to you wherever you are. Every Thursday, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Hot 93.3. Spot the crew, join the cruise. DJ Neptune and Lake on right there. Also, Joe Boy in the song of the tune is called Nobody. It is officially time for us to have a conversation. It's five o'clock here on the Super Drive in Lagos City. Uh, so I, I was just saying right now that I really, really, I think I really, really do enjoy listening to this version of Nobody. It's just dope. I love it. I don't know if it was Lake One's a new energy that did it for me, but I don't know. I just love it. Anyways, uh, what, I, what I like to talk about on the show every time, you know, I always get dragged to conversations that deal with money when i see billion million trillion even thousand i want to talk about it i want to understand what is happening and uh, <laughs> something was trending yesterday even in, into today and I, I skipped it yesterday but today i woke up with this in my head i'm like yo did this really happen did i really pass this headline did i really not have a word or two about it did i really not ask you what you thought about this so when we talk about prayer i know what prayer Prayer is prayer is you know having a conversation with your maker or having a conversation with whatever you believe in or you know wh- whoever you believe in or what you believe in just that communication i know that's what it is but i never for once thought that you know you have to pay for it or you have to spend some money i thought prayer was free you know talking to your god talking to your chi i thought it was free but today i've learned something new i've learned something you know that i'm gonna take on and even talk to my you know children about and whenever i have them and i'm just wondering you please help me help me help me help me what do you think about this so you know that the trial of the national security advisor um sambo dasuki has been on and an investigation officer of the efcc um told the court that investigation have has has shown <clears throat> This is too heavy for me. You can see that my mouth is doing happy, happy, happy. It has shown that 2.2 billion naira was allegedly spent on prayers in Nigeria. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me compose myself. It's been shown that 2.2 billion naira was allegedly spent on prayers in Nigeria and Saudi Arabia to win the war against Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria. <laughs> I just read this out for you. And I'm just like, okay, so 2.2 billion naira was allegedly spent on prayers in Nigeria and Saudi. Please, who works at the prayer office? <laughs> I need to understand because I need to, I need to, I need to either find a job there or you know look for it to buy. But still, let me know what you think. This is what we're going to be talking about on the show within this hour, and it's done in two parts. So we have Adiola who is going to be on the streets of Lagos in a couple of minutes. We will be going to Adiola, but for now, I'm just letting you in on what this hour would hold. We're talking about this. You can join the conversation on Twitter at HotFM underscore Lagos. Or you can send a message on WhatsApp 081-800-899-33. When we get to to Adela, we will talk about you calling in. But for now, let that sink in. 2.2 billion was allegedly spent on prayers in Nigeria and Saudi Arabia to win the war against Boko Haram. Hey, hey. Spot the crew, join the cruise. It's 11 minutes down the hour of 5 p.m. You're listening to the Super Drive, and today we are on the road. As usual, the show is in two parts, like I'd said. Um, I'm in the studio, but I also have my sweet baby girl, Adiola, on the streets of Lagos. Hi, Adiola, how are you? Hello, Chacha, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fantastic. Where are you in Lagos City? I hope you're in Lagos. (laughs) But where are you? Okay, um, right now we're at Sekumo area of Jakonde. And today, like you already said, we're going to be speaking to people mm-hmm. as regards um, the conversion 2.2 billion naira Into- meant for arms, but not only for prayers. So we're hoping to be speaking to a number of people today, even though this place looks unusually dry right now. It looks so, empty. Um, before then, what I think, Chacha, is that so, right, we have we uh, the former National Security Advisor that was supposed to, you know, advise the nation, the federal government, mm-hmm. on how to fight insurgents and other security matters of the nation, converted him and his um, team of accomplices, converted a very, very huge sum of money mm-hmm. that was meant for 
or chase arms. They yeah. converted it to money for prayers. Like they gathered the money and gathered clerics and used that money to pay for pay pray, pray for um the nation as regards the insurgents Boko Haram mm-hmm. insurgents in Nigeria. I feel like the, gov- the government has taken every other step apart from the necessary steps to fight insurgents in the country, which is really sad. Developed <laughs> nations do not pay huge sums of money. Did you they wait? Not pay huge <laughs> of money for prayers, Tata. <laughs> As the first nation, uh-huh. are we seeing the effect? Are we really seeing the effect of these prayers? Mm. To be very honest, it's saddening. You know, and personally, so- I think that it's priority. You know, some people say that, you know, when you want to fight a battle, you need to pray for it, pray about it first. I don't get that, Tata. You know, a lot of people say that when you want to fight fight a battle first, you need to pray first before you fight. <laughs> so, so that doesn't... fighting several battles. <laughs> we've been praying. You know how long we've been praying in Nigeria. Okay. And it's really sad. Up till now, Boko Haram is still a very, very big thing, a big worry in this country. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm just wondering, Adiola, have you ever paid... Um, to be prayed for or paid for prayers in your life? I have never. My religion, which is Christianity, mm. believes I, we all believe that if, if you are a true Christian, you should have a personal relationship with your God. I have a personal relationship with my God. Okay. I do not believe that someone should be an intermediary between me and my God. So I have never, ever paid okay. for prayers. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing what the people around Jackaday have to say all right, as well. Tata. All right, Daniela. <laughs> thank you. All right, now you know what we're talking about. That's Adiola. She is at the Circle Mall area of Jack One Day. So just in case you're around there, you might spot the Hot FM van and you can say a word or two concerning what we're talking about. 2.2 billion for praying um, against the Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria. That's part of the war. And that was what was, you know, allegedly spent um, to, <laughs> to pray against insurgency. And I'm just wondering... Do you think that's, you know, because it's prayer, do you think that's small money or do you think, you know, that's enough? Or do you think like, what, what, what kind of thing is this? Get across to me on Twitter at HotFM underscore Lagos. You can send a voice note, text, SMS, 2081 or you can call in 081 Typically wondering, what kind of prayer is this? Spot the crew, join the cruise. Hello, disclosure. David O. Thames on the track is called Know Your Worth. This is Hot 93.3 and we're on the road with Superdrive. I've got mm-hmm. Adiola on the other hand because we're talking about 2.2 billion naira, which has been spent for prayers. Hi, Adiola. Go ahead. Hello, Tata. So I'm still at the second mall area of Jack D, and I have Emmanuel with me. Mm. Hi, Emmanuel. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Good evening. So, Emmanuel, the former um, National Security Advisor, Mm. Mr. Dasuki is presently on trial for misappropriation of funds. But um, on discovery, it was discovered that 2.2 billion naira, which was supposed to be used for purchase of arms and ammunition, was converted to prayers. What do you think about this um, this allegation? <laughs> okay, it's funny because a lot has happened in Nigeria lately. And saying you spent 2.2 billion naira for prayers... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are we bribing God or how? Because it sounds very, very funny. But then, he has said that we want to give you the money. In two months' time now, we'll stop hearing about it. Because this is Nigeria. A lot has happened. Someone said snake swallowed 30 million. Someone said this. Someone said that. So, well, there's nothing we can do that to just hope that change will come someday. Because right now, hmm, the change is so far away. <laughs> okay, Emmanuel, on a personal note, personal note, do you, do you believe in transactional prayers? Would you pray? Would you pay for prayers? No, I don't see any point in that. Except if we just say, okay, um, do charity, all right? Because I'm a Christian, so but there are some things you say to me that I just feel it sounds absurd, yeah. all right? So you cannot tell me to use 2.2 billion naira. Uh, Sorry, what is it? Like it sounds very <laughs> funny. So every time I think about the amount, it sounds very stupid. <laughs> So, ten two point two billion naira is it's, it's too extraordinary. It sounds very funny. So, thank you, Mano. <laughs> you know, Hi, he, I, I could, I could, I could feel his smile and laughter, and you know, just <laughs> shock from hearing his voice. It's like, it's like, I'll be a joke know, to right? you. That, that, that's basically what his tone was like. It's like these people are joking. What's okay? All like right. Like you said, it sounds absurd. It's actually, I'll be back, Tata. All right, no stress. 
This is the Hot 93.3, 24 minutes down the hour of 5 p.m. My name is Chacha, and we're talking about this uh, particular topic. Um, 2.2 billion naira has been spent for prayers, allegedly been spent for prayers. We're talking about that right now to you the hour of six. Let me know what you think about this. Join me on WhatsApp 081-800-899-33. You can call into the show as well. 081-8242-6591. If you want to get a question on Twitter, it is at HotFM underscore Lagos. But still, <laughs> If you're around Circle Mall, Jack and Day, um, we have Adiola and the crew right there. So you might want to just pop by and say hi or hellos. But for now, I'm just wondering, 2.2 billion, this just sounds like, you know, when you hear credit card fraud or something like that, this is just it. You know what? Bado and uh, Bad Boy Tims will explain what I mean to you with this next song. Spot the crew, join the cruise. 37 minutes down the hour. Of Hot Night 3.3, down to hour 5 p.m. My name is Chacha, and this is the Super Drive. We're on the road currently around Jaconet area of Lagos City, and I'm here in the studio chatting with you about this topic that kind of bothers me a little bit because I know we've seen, you know, um, snakes, we've seen monkeys, we've seen different things, different animals cart away money. But now we're hearing we have 2.2 billion that has been allegedly spent on prayers. Uh, Madasuki has told us this one, you know, he's been, he's on trial currently for misappropriation of funds. And then he says, uh, 2.2 billion. We use this to pay people to pray against Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria. And it's like, boom, 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 brain, brain and blown. Brain, you see, I can't even say my mind is blown properly. You can understand how this news has devastated me. But I'm just wondering what you think about this. 2.2 billion for prayers. Do you think that is, you know, chicken change? I mean, you know, you need to have these prayers done. So prayers are, you know, key in fighting whatever wars. Join the conversation on Twitter at hotfm underscore Lagos. Or you can call into the studio. The number to call is 81 If you want to send a tweet, it is at hotfm underscore Lagos. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Kirill. Good, Good, Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. Judge, how are you doing? It was great. Amazing. Really great and hot. Outside, though, it's really hot and there's traffic. But outside that, it's really great. Okay, um, I'm glad to hear from you, sir. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about this million. Billion. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like how every time, every time you want to talk, you first say, Chacha, please. Okay, continue. Continue. You see, but Chacha, please, eh, I want to like, I want to have a question. Mm-hmm. Maybe I was, I'm deceiving myself, I don't know. Or maybe I didn't hear your uh, analysis clearly. Do you say that the paid Two point something billion for prayer for uh, Bukaram or whatever. Yes. Is that what you say? Yes, that's what it's I said. For the, to pray for them, right? <laughs> yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Your friend in the background. Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody, my friend, I was already saying that. I'm sorry about that. So sorry mm-hmm. about that. See, the Krabah, actually, I asked me to come and do the prayer. Aww. The Krabah, I asked me to come and do the prayer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. why, why are we like this? Uh, why, why, I mean, why, Boko, Haram why is, like... Boko Haram is a big deal in the country. So... Okay, if I, want to ask, if I want to ask this question, if they claim that they spend so much of that money to, to do so-called prayer, mm-hmm. Do they want to tell Nigeria that the Boko Haram has not been killing Nigeria? No, no. Since but they are spending that kind of money. <laughs> no, no, and no. And come no. to think of it. Mm-hmm. Must you pray? Must you pray before you pray? Uh-huh. It's a, in your, see, see, let's get something right there. In your own church, mm-hmm. do you pray before your pastor pray for you? No, we don't do that. Uh, no, let's get it right here. <laughs> At least. I, I believe that there is a kind of lie you lie to somebody. Mm-hmm. The person will not suspect that or she will not lose so what she tells that, that you are lying to yeah. the person. You can still lie and pretend as if the lie is 100% true. The person will actually going to believe you. But the way these guys, as a government, they don't even know how to sit down and convey their lies. Their lie is too cheap. <laughs> It's so cheap now. Yeah. Tasha, we always say, did you know 
how much life two point something billion can change. Hmm. A lot of Analysis makes us to understand that Nigerians are living in extreme poverty, poverty. not just poverty, extreme poverty. And you are these guys are still telling us what we don't want to hear. Yeah. I still want to use this opportunity to tell anybody listening to me right now. If you're a Nigerian youth and you are more than 20 years, mm-hmm. see, bros and sisters, don't expect anything from the government. Mm. Work on yourself. These people doesn't value me and you. These people value power more than humanity. These people value power. And any leader in any country, any part of the world that values power more than a citizen, they don't get what they, they don't get, they cannot get what they're supposed to get. Mm. Any leader, any leader around the world, do your research very well that value power more than humanity, more than our people. It's quite obvious. Right. That money, they don't steal that money, pump somewhere, <laughs> and they come here, they like to all chatter. This thing is wrong. Our children are, they are not living well. The schools, hospitals, we are talking about police issues here. Police are not well equipped. They are mm-hmm. not living well. And they are still stealing our money. And they want us, I told you that, and this is the reason why they want to, not me or other people like you, like me, not to talk in the social media. Okay. This is the reason why they want to put a hand to social media because at the end of the day, they want our voice to become voiceless. Uh, so when issues like this arise, we will not be able to speak out. Okay, thank you so much. It's Sarah. obvious. It it's is. obvious. It's obvious. Let me just turn it that way. It's obvious. Thank you so much for calling. All right. Thank you, dear. All right. It's 17 minutes before we get to 6 p.m. here on the Superdrive. My name is Steel Chacha, and I'm wondering what you think. What are your thoughts on this 2.2 billion? Oh, that's a lot. Of, it's not 2.2 million. That's 1.1 billion and another 1.1 billion, right? That's it. I'm, I did not calculate wrong. Okay, I just I just wanted to say, just imagine 1.1 billion somewhere and another 1.1 billion somewhere. That's that is it. Or imagine 1 1 million away <laughs> than 1 1 billion. Um, I, look, <sighs> I'm stressed. Let me read this message here. It says, now, wow, which kind of prayer be that? Now, 2.2 billion for prayer. They keeping they keep playing us in this country. We're used to their lives. Aura from Lecky sent that one in. Reading this one on Twitter um, from Mr. Lumi says, 2.2 billion on prayer. It is just justification for daylight robbery. On that, the most abused item, absurd item. Um, it says, oh, I missed this one. Pardon me. Um, it says it's very strange. You see that? My bad. Let me take this again. It says it's just justification for daylight robbery under the most absurd item. Naturally, they don't expect you to query it. We are one of the most religious people yet retrogressive. And um, this is just another basket case of the use of funds. Shame also then goes on to say 2.2 billion on prayer. It is very strange. You see that money was diverted and tried to be justified under an item you can't really account for. It is amazing how we are a very religious nation, um, yet very retrogressive. It's bewildering how some of our solutions beat common sense. Shame again. All right, thanks so much, Lumi. You can get across to me on Twitter at whatfm underscore Lagos, or you can call the studio. The number to call is 081-824-26591. If you want to send a message on Twitter, on WhatsApp, pardon me, the WhatsApp number is 081-800-89833. Next song is my absolute mood. Spot the crew, join the cruise. All right, Brahim, go ahead. What's your take on this 2.2 billion naira? Spent on prayer. Wait, uh, <clears throat> I think if I'm getting this wrong, mm-hmm. two point two billion naira. Mm-hmm. Just for prayer for Boko Haram, please, Biko. <laughs> yes, it's for prayer <laughs> for Boko Haram. Uh, what of the corruption in Nigeria? How much will you pay for that one to go? Ah, I don't. I cannot answer that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> but so, if you want to pray for this country entirely now. Mm-hmm. You probably be paying for hundred billion. Or $1 That's billion. possible when you see the problems that we have compared to Boko Haram. There are more problems too, ah, so God. it's possible. And we are still, and we are, and Nigeria is on debt. Yes, and we're collecting some more money. Ah. Yes, so. 
<laughs> Let me know your shock. <laughs> Let me understand your shock. Yes, we're collecting more money here. Eh? Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? Ah, frustrated. You're frustrated? Oh, interesting. Well, are you saying that you never, you cannot spend money for prayer in your life or you've never spent money to get some prayers? No. 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 So do you think this is a, this is an, um, what's the word that I used the other day? Do you think that this is a waste of prayer or do you think this is a waste of funds? <laughs> <laughs> you sound so shocked. That's all right. That's all right. Interesting. I don't even know which direction to turn to get. I'm, I'm just babbling here. Yeah. If you had two point two billion naira right now, what would that do for you? What would that do for me? Yes. Uh, I don't. I don't think if that's a, a right question. Okay. What, what would you use for that for? Generation. For your generation. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Or for my entire. Not only. As a, <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much for calling it seems like you don't have the words to say exactly thank you very much <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> let me know what you feel still you can join the conversation on twitter at hot fm underscore lagos or you can send me a message via whatsapp the number is 0818 don't you forget this is hot 93.3 we're chatting about this from now spot the crew join the cruise I'm still at the um, Tokumo area of Jakundi, and I have Kingsley here with me. How are you doing, Kingsley? I'm okay. All right. So the ex, the former um, national security advisor, <clears throat> is under trial right now for misappropriation of funds. And it was lately discovered that some amount of money, 2.2 billion naira, was converted. This money was meant for um, purchase of arms and ammunition, but it was converted for prayers used to fight Boko Haram. What are your thoughts as to this development? Well, I just think it's ridiculous. Someone saying that he spent 2.2 billion naira on prayer. What kind of prayer is it? <laughs> Does it even make sense? A well reasonable person will not believe that. I don't know where they cook all the story from and think people will believe them. Hmm. I just think this is how the society is. Everybody can just frame up something and just say and they tend that people are so stupid to believe them. It's just so ridiculous. Okay, so this money was paid to clerics, pastors, imams, allegedly. What do you think about um, clerics collecting money for prayers? What do you think about it? From, from clergy? I don't think it's... Uh, I think everybody has their free will to make contributions. It's, it's, that is what is written in the Bible. God expects everybody to make um, contribution willingly. Not imposing it that compulsory, if you don't do this, you will not get blessing and the rest. That is not what God says. I read the Bible very well, and I know that making your donation, it depends on you. It should be your uh, voluntarily. You should do that voluntarily. Not saying that if you don't make volu- uh, contribution, you don't pay your tithe, God will not bless you. That is just a force. They're just doing that to gain their own, uh, to sustain themselves. Yeah. Finally, Kenzie, um I want to ask, would you pay money for you to be prayed for? For example, okay, no, just, would you just pay money to anybody, maybe to assist in prayers, to assist in some way, to oppose your prayer? Would you pay money for prayers? Why would I do such a thing? I can communicate to God. God in his words say that we should pray to him freely. So why should I pay for someone else? Why I can actually pray to God directly? It doesn't make sense. So I can't do such a thing. All right, then. Thank you very much. Right. Have a good evening. So you, Chata, you know something, Adiola? You know something, What's Adiola? That? As you asked him that question, I was thinking to myself, even these guys, whoever they paid this money to, for them to even collect money for this bread, they are wicked. Do you know why? If, to be, if, to be very honest. Yeah, if in quotes, there was actually a form of payment transaction because of this, mm-hmm. these guys are supposed to even pray for our country for free because they are religious leaders like it's their duty it's everyone's duty quite all right but when you see that the country is fighting for a cause fighting against a cause and you're charging the same government because you want to make some money not even five thousand naira to maybe buy you know water or whatever it is that you're trying to do but 2.2 billion is ridiculous it's really ridiculous very ridiculous all right i have someone else who wants to make contributions all right 
Hi, good evening. Please, what's your name? Precious. Precious. So the national, um, former national security advisor was is under trial right now, and it was discovered a couple of days ago that 2.2 billion naira was used was converted. This money was supposed to be used to pay for arms and ammunition, but it was converted to pay clerics for prayers to fight Boko Haram. What are your thoughts as to this development? Well, it will actually pose a setback to a nation. Um, in such a, as such a time as this, what we need for national cohesion and security is to put together and fight the situation we all find ourselves in this country. Mm. We want a government that can stand up for all Nigerians, regardless of faith, ethnicity, or political affiliation. But in spite of that, in order for us to achieve this objective, we have to tell ourselves the truth. Mm. There is so much ECOPS that has besieging this nation in every facet. If we really want to stand up and fight, we need to be honest to ourselves. There is no one who can sign for the commonwealth of this nation that is meant for everybody, for one person or for one industry, and you expect the nation to grow. You expect the nation to continue to gravitate towards the direction of democracy, justice, and a common sense of brotherhood. So I, I believe that as every stakeholder, I believe that everybody must wake up and begin to tell ourselves the truth. The government is not doing enough. They are not being truthful. And we need a government that can be more accountable, be more just and humane, and realize that Nigerians are not fools. As Brian Lincoln once said, <laughs> the 16th president of the United States of America, that you can fool some of the people all of the time, and all of the people some of the time, but it is theoretically impossible to fool all of the people all the time. So it, I believe that a time has come when we have to tell ourselves the truth. We will continue to siphon our commonwealth for the collective interest of just a few or a cabal. There is no way our nation can grow. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much, Precious. Tata. Precious must be a professor. He has said it all. Mm-hmm. He has said it all. I don't even have anything to say. Can there be development? Yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, Adiola, what's your final thoughts on this issue? Oh, well, yeah. Like Precious said, if the government... If a section of the government continues to siphon um, funds meant for general development of the country, there cannot be progress in the country. Mm. I feel like the government should take seriously more pressing issues like taking care of our soldiers, our security personnel, mm. you know, providing arms and ammunition mm-hmm. to further en- um, ensure that security in the nation is tighter. Okay. I feel like... Uh, until these things are put in place correctly and successfully, mm-hmm. there might be no development in the country. All right, thank you so much. I always really enjoy bantering with you here on the road. Thank you very much, Tata. Thank you. We'll do this again next Thursday. It is a three yeah. minutes. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> enjoy your guys right, that are toasting you right there. <laughs> I'm still here. Let me just play one voice note before we take the news update. And this one is... Evening to you, Tata. How are you doing? Fantastic. Hope your day is moving smoothly. You see, times without number, I've given up on this very country called Nigeria. But sometimes I'll be like, even if I give up on Nigeria, it's still affecting me either directly or indirectly. Most times, I don't even think more about myself anymore. Like, I don't even care about me. But what bothers me is those generations yet unborn those generations yet unborn because it's not just about uh, this issue of spending two point something billion naira for prayer right. over Boko Haram terrorists and every other thing that is bothering me but almost every issue affecting Nigeria generally is my problem you see these politicians they don't know one thing they don't know more especially this very particular administration They don't know that the office of the citizens is higher and far, far, way too bigger than that of the president. I just want to let them know that they are messing with the wrong generation. It will go down in history as, you know, we, this current generation, we are the one that is going to change this country. Not just this country, Africa as whole, we are going to change this very country. I don't want to say much because... Nigerian problem right now it's 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 really it's really a comedy for me it's really a comedy but at the same time it's so annoying I don't want to use some words anyway it's just so annoying
but God will see us through. The five percent of old folks they can't be bigger than us. They can't. They can't keep fooling us for God knows how long. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much, Future Rains. I could feel the tension in your voice. Spot the crew. Join the cruise.